Top 3 Ghosts Trapped on Video Hello folks all over the world, there are those who have understood that paranormal videos on the web that contain animals, are among the most credible, so someone also risks a terrorist attack on their dog in order to make the video look real, at least in extreme fashion to make visualizations as perhaps it happened to this poor dog on TikTok, where we see that the owner moves something just before the speaker falls towards the dog and, from behind the camera, he pretends to be scared. What do you think? Do you think it's a hoax? Anyway, let's start our top 3 ghost ranking. This week some videos we found are really particular, let us know what do you think. Oddities inside the office. The story behind this video is about a guy from Plant City, Florida, USA. Eric is a young installer of car audio systems, and in his social networks he usually posts photos or videos of his installations and works. But one night after saying goodbye to his friends, he headed home and was distracted by the windows of a well-known office in the area. Noticing something strange, immediately alerts the security man of the building who was patrolling the parking lot below. Really terrified of what was happening, Eric manages to film what he saw from his car. Alright, can you, can you see this thing? Yeah, it's still there. Okay. What's happening with the lights? Because I'm, dude, I'm looking the, the, the lights the hallway, the, and I can't see, like, I literally see nothing. The lights are off right now. Oh, it just moved. It just moved. It just moved. It just moved. I just heard a weird that fucking noise. Move. Please don't tell me that as you said that. Dude, it just moved. No. In a telephone connection with the security guard, Eric describes someone moving inside an office of the building, but the shadow seen from the car does not appear to be human, because it disappears while crossing between the two sashes of the window. Literally terrifying the boy who has difficulty explaining himself to the guard, who does not detect anything suspicious in the area. Just, the light just turned on, it looks like a hallway light. Okay, uh, the light, the, the unit I was just in? No, 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 no. From where I'm at, you remember where you seen them standing? Yeah. The light just turned off. Okay. It's still standing there. It looks sideways, though. It looks like it's like... And what does it look like, sideways? The second one... The, dude, it looks like two people in there. Two people? Yeah. You're filming it? Yeah. Or what do you see? It looks like one just bent down. Okay. It's bending over. It looks like it's trying to pick up something. What? Okay, dude, you're not talking to me. Can you it's it's getting it's getting taller. What? Really tall. What do you mean really tall? It, it's getting tall. It's moving sideways. Like it's leaning back and forth. You see it moving. Yes. The videos posted on this channel about this case, sparked the TikTok community by generating over 10 million views, as many claim that Eric's voice tremble, confirms that what we're watching is real. Someone in the comments tries to hypothesize that it may be a joke of someone with a human-shaped cardboard that raises the shape from under the window, but this does not explain how the cardboard can bend head and shoulders downwards as if to observe, or look for something under the window. In fact Eric at one point tells the guard, it is getting taller, really tall, and the guard doesn't understand if Eric is serious or crazy. The lights are off. It's gone. Oh, fuck it. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, it's back on and still there. Lights are flickering on and off. Dude, I'm not even near that door anymore. Fuck this shit, man. Uh, is it still there? Oh, the lights are off now. I don't see it. Yeah, what was that noise? Dude, that was just behind me. Is that like a fire alarm or something? I no, dude, it was a squeak noise. Like something just moved behind me. I mean, what the fuck, dude? Eric in the comments explains that it is all real. He was trembling with fear and even the security guard feared for his safety. It is not clear if it was a well-concocted joke or Eric managed to capture something inexplicable, in any case the security guard, once he entered the window room, he did not find anyone inside. Who hit my son? 
This video was shot in Erie County, New York, United States, towards the beginning of 2021, totaling 3 million views. Leah is a young mother of a teenager and a small four-year-old child, owner of a TikTok channel where she usually posts videos of everyday life scenes, outings with friends, songs. But in 2021 she posted two truly disturbing videos that forced her and her family to move houses. Posted in January 2021, the video shows his youngest son playing in the garden of their old house, watch carefully. Following this video, Leah explains to her followers that in that house where they lived, she continually had nightmares during which she saw a man hurting his family. Speaking with her neighbors, she discovered that the house was inhabited by an old elder, but the biggest shock was when the neighbors showed her a photo of the old man, because he was identical to the man in his nightmares. Leah did not suffer from poltergeist phenomena at home but managed to capture another oddity that always happened to her son during the game, and this is the footage. Leah wrote in the comments that the child saw an elderly man touching him, saying he was her grandfather. Terrified by these events, she moved house, and neither she nor her family suffered any more discomfort. The Screams of the Sick A group of paranormal investigators from the city of Dayton in Ohio, United States, in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, explored one of the most haunted places in America, namely the Fairfield County Infirmary. Originally opened in 1828, the Fairfield County Infirmary was a home for the destitute, the mentally ill, the physically disabled, the elderly and orphans where they could receive food, clothing, shelter, and medical care. While some died of old age, others died prematurely from incurable diseases, others committed suicide and were buried in a makeshift cemetery behind the house. But those walls also saw some elderly people who died from a stove fire and particularly crude was the story of a superintendent of the sick, who beat them if they did not carry out some work around the mid-1800s. Published on YouTube channel by the name, Dayton Haunted Explorers, on August 19, 2020, the video shows the incredible paranormal activity and multitude of EVPs that Kyla and her group managed to capture with their equipment. This play still leaves the entire paranormal investigation community speechless. Kayla and her team detect numerous EVPs and electromagnetic energy on the main floor, but when they move into the jail cell they begin to detect paranormal phenomena. at the end of the hall here. Real quick.
I'm definitely on here and stuff. Or I'm tired. One or the other. Okay, so. We just walked in the room. I just heard a bang down the hall. Good job. Thank you for making that light up. Now that I have your attention, can you turn it off? You can turn it off. Oh my god. Something just shook this window. Next to the window that was shaking by itself, exactly in the nursery, Kayla captures what appears to be a dark shadow. freaking grabbed right there by that vent just now yeah yeah where down here nope no I've been in here what The group subsequently managed to capture an intense exchange of EVPs in the main hall, and all the boys agree that the place is heavily infested with the souls who lived inside. Find all the investigation in the link below the video. It must be admitted that the web is full of interesting videos, obviously they must all be analyzed but some are really bizarre like this channel on YouTube entitled Slightly Scared 2012, opened right in 2012, where the author has published seven videos all similar that show a chair with a face painting, which the author claims belongs to his cousin who died in a tragic car accident. As he painfully told the story to his relatives sitting in that chair, a few hours later the cousin's face appeared on the fabric. What do you think? Is this an hoax? As usual, I leave the decision to you. Friends, thank you for watching, always follow us on our social networks and on our channel to stay updated on new video releases. I recommend, don't miss the videos of this series, the only one that, thanks to your support, tries to shed light on probable paranormal phenomena. See you next episode, good night.